Hi everyone, I'm Fani Garipoli and I'll be presenting our work Slight, or support for near zero cost configurable scheduling. This work was done in collaboration with another student, Renu Pan, and my advisor, Dr. Gabriel Permer, at the George Washington University. Embedded and real-time systems have a broad breadth of requirements, many of which have only come into prevalence in the last decade. This includes strong security, reliability, effective use of multi-core resources, and the ability to meet the timing requirements of software of varying assurances and functionalities. For example, mixed criticality systems are required to provide new scheduling and synchronization policies. Large-scale systems have spawned compiler and runtime support for parallelism frameworks, exemplified by OpenMP. Virtual machine systems are challenged by multi-scheduler coordination. But due to the close interaction with the system's concurrency and parallelism primitives, scheduling has been a fundamental service in the kernel. This leads to tension with constant pressure to adapt to new timing requirements of these modern systems. Traditional RTOSs are built to meet the timing and specification requirements of real-time systems, many of which run applications in the bare metal OS to provide predictability and performance. However, these systems lack POSIX features and often lack multi-core support mm -hmm. and provide no isolation and security for applications that are running in a bare metal OS. On the other hand, we have monolithic beasts like Linux kernel that have complex cross-layer and cross-functional interactions required to provide POSIX features, multi-core execution, and these systems also have support for compiler and library to enable parallel runtimes um, using task-based parallelism. However, the complexity in these systems impact on the real-time specification and the timing requirements, and the complex interactions with the parallelism runtimes and the schedule system schedulers prevent work conservation in these systems. We argue that the kernel implementation of the system scheduler pol scheduling policy is a key inhibitor which is preventing configurable policy with tighter co-design with applications and schedulers. Therefore, Slide's goal is to provide configurable user-level scheduling of system-level threads at near-zero cost performance by avoiding system call costs in common case scheduling, IPC, and synchronization facilities, and to improve predictable inter um, interop latencies. Efficient scheduling enables efficient and predictable isolation and security. Traditional system schedulers with one-to-one -one mapping of kernel to user-level threads um, have scheduling policies built into the kernel. This requires additional system call overheads on IPC synchronization and scheduling. Moreover, application-specific scheduling policies are not possible. M21 schedulers, also known as green threads, um, um, allow M user-level threads for a single kernel thread. These systems allow for application-specific scheduling policy for M user-level threads but still require the kernel level scheduling policy for the system threads. A third dispatch among the M user level threads are fast, requiring no additional system call overheads. However, a user level thread blocking in the kernel on IO, etc., will block the entire process in its threads. Complex implementations, including M2N schedulers, where their N kernel activations allow for M user level threads that alleviate the blocking problem but the multi-scheduler coordination is further complicated. Here we present the scheduling research of a few different systems, real-time systems, with information about where the policy is placed, the placement of dispatch mechanism to switch between threads, the scope of the concurrency, and the preemptivity in these systems schedulers. The color code indicates efficient and flexible for green, and um, red indicates slower and less flexible. Orange lies in the middle. Mixed criticality systems often have policy located in the kernel and the dispatch mechanism is going through the kernel mechanism and um, the scope of concurrency is inter-process and system level scheduling with preemptivity enabled. Perl systems are where uh, there are task-based systems that um, leverage user level um, task execution. So the policy is located at user level. Dispatch mechanism is user level, which is closure or task execute activation. Scope of concurrency is process local and cooperative. These systems are often non-preemptive. Middleware systems have a goal to enable user level scheduling of system level threads, 
leveraging the kernel API for prioritization and provide limited API for user level blocking in making of threads. The system enable system level uh, preemptive inner process scheduling. However, middleware schedulers require kernel dispatch and incur additional overheads in scheduling in switching to scheduler threads um, for um, um, scheduling and the blocking and baking semantics complicate accurate tracking of the thread states. Slight, our research aims to enable configurable user level scheduling policy with dispatch mechanism at user level and enabling preemptive inner process system level scheduling. In this picture, you see on the left is a slide system which enables user level scheduling of system level threads. The scheduling policy is located in the user level as opposed to traditional system schedulers in one to one schedulers. So, slide enables user level dispatch of the threads, avoiding system calls for dispatch in common case. So, dispatch here is therefore fast. This decouples the notion of active thread in the user level from the kernel's view of the active thread, thus avoiding system call overheads. However, to enable, um, this causes incoherence, and to enable coherence, slide um, requires to share the information between the kernel and the user level uh, schedulers, which, for example, is kernel current thread information and other um, information. So the kernel recovers coherence of active thread with the user level scheduler upon activation via a system call or an interrupts by retrieving the user level active thread information and updating its records. Thus avoiding overheads um, that are required to synchronize between the user level and the kernel level active thread information. So user level dispatch causes incoherence and kernel recovers lazily via system call or preemption. Slight enables configurable user level scheduling and provides a scheduling library at the user level called schedulib that exposes common scheduling interface for concurrency, pluralism, and synchronization so that the user level scheduler policies are pluggable and avoid the complexity of interacting with the kernel. The scheduling policies would have um, their own run queue management and interact with the scheduling library. Slide is implemented on Composite, a capability-based microkernel that provide um, capability resources like threads, synchronous and asynchronous uh, IPC endpoints, and temporal capabilities for time management. Composite does not have a scheduling policy in the kernel. The TCAPs allow for controlling interrupt preemption that is as programmed by the user level schedulers. Slide modifies composite to enable sharing of pages between the user level schedulers and the kernel for fast dispatches. And also enables placing of event queues into the share page for um, amortizing the scheduling costs. Slide leverages the TCAP mechanism and the thread based thread migration based synchronous IPC mechanism to um, in composite to allow system level preemptive scheduling. A strong focus on isolation. Um, Slide leverages composite for isolation of application and schedulers and from each other. Applications can do IPCs with the scheduler to ask them to block and perhaps a evading on IO. The applications leverage the fastest IPC path, the thread migration based synchronous IPC, where a thread from the application process migrates its execution into the scheduling process and thereby allowing the scheduler to control its execution. This is indicated by the dotted, um, yeah, this is indicated by the dotted strands both um, tick and the thin strands. The tick strands indicate the active thread. Schedule process leverages the slight dispatch to provide a fast dispatch between threads that have migrated into the scheduling process via the synchronous invocation IPC. However, if the dispatch were always to a preempted thread in, another pro in other processes, then we don't get the benefit of slight. With slight 
scheduling of blocking threads in the application threads co-located within slight schedulers um, are near zero cost. To study the benefits of Slight and to compare with other reliability focused systems like Composite, Linux with real time patch, we compare OS primitive costs here on Intel uh, i7 processor with 32 bit OSs. The context switch in Composite is a raw system call cost, and in Slight, it's the user level dispatch between two threads and sketch yield in Linux. The y axis denotes the measured cost in cycles. The lighter bars indicate the worst case measure time, and the darker bars indicate the average cost. Slight dispatch at user level is about 40 cycles one way, a significant improvement over composites raw system call level dispatch um, costs, and um, improvement, a significantly better improvement over Linux um, with real time patch. This is what we refer to as near zero cost. As you can see, that the tight co-design of scheduling with applications allows Slide to provide optimized OS primitives, including the peer-to-peer -peer message passing here that we measure to show that the costs are very efficient. So Slide provides significant improvement both in the worst case and average case me measurements. Therefore, this enables near zero cost, user Slide enables near zero cost user level dispatch of system level threads. The downside of Slight is that it adds conditionals onto the IPC fastpath in the system to see if the user and the kernel level have different um, active threads. Composite has the fastest function call like IPC, so it is important to avoid slowing down its fastpaths. Therefore, we measure the IPC cost in Slight and the composite to show that the modifications in Slight do not significantly impact on the worst case um, costs. Linux IPC uses pipes as significantly slower and are presented here for coverage. More importantly, when coherency when must be reached between the user and the kernel level uh, for active thread information, it requires additional overhead. We study the overheads by measuring the IPC cost, which is a system call cost that includes lazy coherence of active threads between the kernel and the user level. As we show here, the worst case and the average case with the arrows show that it is negligible of the order of 50 cycles in the average. Therefore, Slide enables near zero cost scheduling of system level threads with negligible overheads. Often, low, low end embedded systems have um, OSs that compromise on isolation security to provide predictability and performance. Previous research on composite has shown that predictable isolation is viable in these systems, however, incurs significant system call costs that hinder the performance of scheduling and OS primitives. To study the performance of slides, efficient dispatches, and the OS primitives um, with the tight code design with the dispatches, we compare the OS primitive cost in slide, composite, and the bare metal free RTOS OS that runs applications in unisolated kernel. As can be seen, the dispatch overheads have significantly reduced compared to composite, and similarly, the message queues, mutexes, um, all show significant improvement both in average and um, the worst case costs or composite, the underlying kernel. More importantly, the costs in these OS primitives are on par with the bare metal OS without isolation of the applications nor the kernel. In many cases, Slide is faster than free RTOS. This is surprising as Slide is providing isolation between processes, yet is competitive with the bare metal RTOS with no protection facilities. Here we study um, different applications of Slide. One is where we use Slide as an efficient way to schedule system threads using various assurance level. This uh, enables us to have a strong isolation facility without paying the normal overheads associated with it. We leverage the isolation facilities of composite to run different applications in the schedulers in process like isolation manner. The scheduling functionalities like um, system functionalities like drivers, sensor tasks, and other application tasks perform pipeline computation here in this figure 
leveraging the system scheduling and message queues via the IPCs to um, the scheduling component. Here we show how Skype enables the isolation to have very little performance impact on the system and thus providing stronger protection facilities without needing to trace performance and predictability. We measure the pipeline execution cost for Slide composite um, with Slide OS primitives using the system call for dispatches and Linux um, with real-time patch. Y-axis denotes the cost in cycles, and on X-axis, we vary the, the size of the pipe. The OS primitives are significantly more expensive in Linux. Um, here we use the round-trip IPCs, leading to huge costs in increase um, Pipeline, pipe, pipeline. However, the co-design of optimized dispatches in Slide and the scheduling primitives shows that the overheads are minimized in the system while enabling strong isolation between different software. So Slide with tightened isolation enable high performance and predictable user level scheduling. We also apply Slide in a different domain. This is of the parallel programming in OpenMP. Here we leverage efficiency and predictability features of Slide scheduling to significantly improve on the predictability of OpenMP uh, runtime based on Slide. OpenMP is an application level parallelism framework that consists of a set of compiler pragmas to control the parallelism in the applications. It is commonly used in framework for parallelism in real time community. Tasks are block of work, closure of date code and data, and are non-preemptive ex execution units that cooperatively share single thread um, for execution per core. OpenMP has two types of tasks, tied and untied. The distinction is drawn mainly to avoid deadlocks and DAGs. However, past research has shown that the tied task scheduling constraints prevent work conserving scheduling behavior. Unfortunately, some of the most effective predictable scheduling policies require word conservation, including federated scheduling. Slide OMP integrates tasks with thread-based scheduling to challenge the OpenMP distinction of tasks and enable strong work conservation and scheduling scalability properties. Slide achieves this by integrating tasks and threads and leveraging the thread scheduling for tasks. Slide doesn't have a distinction um, of tied and untied tasks. Here we have a summary of the table of different properties. Slide enables preemptive execution. However, the OpenMP implementations do not. Slide is work conserving while the OpenMP implementations that um, are bound to the tied and untied task constraints are not. Tasks are run as threads in Slide OMP, thus providing um, stronger worst case execution behaviors and word conservation properties, while OpenMP does not run tasks as threats. Slide OMP decreases the worst case of a task graph by up to 50% while providing worst con word conservation in the system. Therefore, we want to study here how much it hurts in an average case execution of parallel OpenMP programs, and we use bots, uh, a common OpenMP benchmarking tool and measure the average execution times of Fibonacci, Sword, Strassen, and Sparse LU on different systems like Slight, OMP, GOMP implementations on Linux for spin and block. And Slide OMP performs on par with the GOMP implementations. As you can see on the y-axis we measure the time uh, of the program in seconds and on the x-axis we increase the number of cores and we can show that Slide is scalable as we increase that the number increase the number of cores. So Slide OMP is more predictable by replacing run to completion non preemptive task model with simple thread executions. Despite using full threads, Slide OMP demonstrates performance on the order of as task based comp. To conclude. Slide aims to provide user level scheduling of system level threads, avoiding system call cost in scheduling operations. Intuition says that moving scheduling to user level should increase the system overheads in many cases, but Slide shows that the overheads can often be decreased to a level of uh, free RTOS or level of RTOS with no isolation and to efficient task models optimized for parallelism. 
We hope this motivates a deeper look into mod uh, moving scheduling policy into the user level. Thank you for your attention. And if you have, if you're interested in the work, please do not hesitate to email me and my co-authors.